Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? I got some really neat local news to talk about. And before I get with that, I'm going to talk about something that's in the state of PA. And today is Groundhog's Day. Happy Groundhog's Day. Now, I'll be hanging out with John. Uh, so I won't know until much later that if he saw a shadow. Or, I can't remember if it's... I can't remember a thing if he sees a shadow of six more weeks or something like that. I just know it's cold. And uh, starting... To, uh, well, I'm doing this Friday. It's starting to slightly, it's dipping down and it's starting to slightly warm up. So that's good right there. And I remember, I haven't been a punk's tie for ages. My great-grandmother passed away in the very early 90s. My, that's where my great-grandmother lived. Nunny. And I always, as a kid, I always wanted to see where they had the groundhog thing where, uh, Gobbler's Knob, or what do they call it, where they say, my dad's, I don't know what that's, I don't know what that's. And we went there on Groundhog's Day, just my great-grandmother said, why don't we see what the Groundhog thing? I don't know what that says, it's going to be crazy. We never saw it. I thought they'd have a big, I, I didn't see anything like that. Uh, we pretty much just stuck there, went there, we didn't go anywhere else. You know, my relatives on my mom's side, like, yeah, don't go anywhere, you know, I'll do anything. Just stay here, be quiet. That's how that was. I always wanted to see that. My sister went to uh, Punxsutawney not too long ago, about a month or so ago. I would love to have gone, but I think I was busy or she didn't tell me or what. It doesn't matter. And uh, so happy Groundhog's Day to everybody. Now, the cool local news is uh, I've been going on for a while. They opened up. They tore down. Uh, Railway ended up was became Brandy Timms. I actually did a video inside Brandy Timms. A very, it's very dark in there. So, I mean, uh it didn't come out that well. I'm reviewing this uh, strawberry ale from uh, Red Strawberry Ale, I believe. I reviewed that right inside the place. It wasn't that busy or anything like that, but it, it was very dark in there. I needed a really good light with that camera, one camera I had, and it didn't provide it. But it was cool. I actually shot in there. And towards the end of, right around spring, they started tearing stuff down. And they had this big construction thing, and it became a family dollar in Albion. And the family dollar is a lot nicer, very nice parking lot. However, not too many people ever went there. Or if they did go there, it was, more, it was mostly in the town, and really in, you know, the people who live close just walk there, I guess. But you always see the parking lot never empty, never, not too many people in there. And the Dollar General, who always was it wasn't as good as fan, uh, one of the nice fan, more people go there because actually they had better prices. I found out a few months later, maybe six months or something like that, that Dollar Tree actually owned Family Dollar. And I knew that the Family Dollar that I used to go to a lot in Gerard became a Dollar Tree. So my big thing was Dollar Tree, I mean Family Dollar should change to Dollar Tree. Well, anyways, my friend, Gloria, I'm putting this fr uh, Saturday. I was going to do it Friday, but, you know, I, I took a nap, so I screwed up my video schedule. So I put up some other stuff that I thought was kind of going to save this for today, Saturday. Gloria, my friend Gloria went to Family Dawn. They said needed uh, new re uh, renovators or something like that. And he said, like, half the inventory was gone. She asked what was happening, and they said, well, they're doing something different. And they said they're doing something that's only happening in one other store, like in Kentucky or West Virginia. She wasn't, Chloe wasn't sure. They're going to do a half and a half store. It's going to be half Family Dawn, and half Dollar Tree. And they're going to get more coolers to have more food for Dollar Tree. That's going to be fantastic. There might be more Dollar Tree reviews coming on the channel. I don't know when this is going to happen. Probably when it warms up. Maybe in a few months or so, but Definitely want to go there. I'll do a video about it and everything. So, I mean, she says the only only one other is like that. That's why I was told. That's what the lady told Gloria. And that's what Gloria told me. So this was really neat news. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more reviews. Dollar Tree items. I still got some Dollar Tree items I haven't reviewed yet. Well, hopefully. I mean, it all depends on what they have. You know, they have like the same stuff that the other ones have. But this is really a neat idea. So I might be doing more shopping there. I do go to Family Dollar. I know my sister's in town. She likes going to Family Dollar a lot. And I go there sometimes. I haven't been there in about a month or so. Um, 
just because some of the prices are outrageous. Because I've never had paid they like four fifty, almost five dollars for like those uh, banquets, bake, bake item thing. You know, it had like a can and another can with a. I can't remember the. Uh, and they're usually like three fifty, three twenty five, or three bucks. They're not no four fifty. That's outrageous. Some of the price that Family Dollar are, out, are a lot more expensive than Dollar General. That's why more people are going. But when that converts to a Dollar Tree, they're going to be jam packed. I guarantee. So I hope you like this thing of some really cool local news. And as always, everybody, please take care of my legion.